on this episode of Paranormal Encounters. This school is extremely active. It is absolutely haunted for sure. Tonight I am staying in Billy Creek Village. That is said to be very haunted. Oh my God, Ghost Soup just said a full sentence. What the f was that? I literally heard something in here. Are you a little kid? I hear a screech. Hello? I'm Connor Biddle. As a young boy, my family moved into a seemingly ordinary house. It held secrets beyond imagination. It was there that I first encountered the supernatural, an experience that would stay with me for a lifetime. From that moment on, my fascination with the paranormal was born. Over the years, I've dedicated myself to capturing the unexplained on camera. It's lighting up, yeah. awesome. Join me as I spend the night in places where the lines between our world and the unknown blur, aiming to document every chilling encounter. Do you want me to come back there? Yes. Oh my God. If you're ready, it's time to spend the night with me inside some of the most haunted locations across the country. Welcome to my paranormal encounters. In the late 1800s, schools dotted the landscape, a testament to an era where every square mile held a place of learning. Children traversed vast distances on foot or by wagon, seeking knowledge within the rustic embrace of these educational sanctuaries. It was in this bygone time that the roots of the Huxford schoolhouse were planted. This ominous structure, now one of the last surviving one-room schoolhouses, unveils a mysterious chronicle within its time-worn walls. For 15 years, the Huxford Schoolhouse served its educational purpose until the relentless march of change overcame it. The winds of transformation swept through the educational landscape, relegating this once vibrant institution to a place of quiet repose on the Huxford farm. In the fateful year of 1968, the Huxfords chose to release their grip on the outdated schoolhouse. Then, it found a new home nestled within the confines of Billy Creek Village, where its presence still lingers to this day. Stepping into the schoolhouse is like taking a journey through time. Blackboards, school desks, and various pieces of furniture whisper tales of days long gone sourced from schools scattered across the surrounding area. Yet within these time-worn walls, there are reports of paranormal phenomena, whispers of children's laughter echoing through the silence, phantom footsteps that are heard pacing between the desks, ghostly figures of children captured in photographs and unexplained voices that defy rational explanation. The Huxford Schoolhouse stands as more than a relic. It is a gateway to a time long lost from our education's past. Tonight, when I enter these doors, what will be waiting for me inside the Huxford Schoolhouse? Hey everybody, welcome back to an all new episode of Paranormal Encounters. Tonight I am staying in Billy Creek Village. This place has 30 some buildings, including an old Civil War house that is said to be very haunted. And tonight I am not only here alone, but I am here with some special guests, some special friends from Paranormal Quest. Ryan and Dave. What's up, Connor? Hi. What's going on guys? I appreciate you guys joining me here tonight while we investigate the Billy Creek Village. I'm excited, this place is creepy. You know, just walking around, it's like, even though this wasn't an actual village, it was it's a collection of structures moved here from different parts of the state of Indiana. These houses actually held real people and real people died in these, in these structures. And they say their spirits might have come with the houses and structures, the churches, the schools to this plot of land here at Billy Creek Village. I'm excited to see what we can capture here tonight. Thank you for having us. It's gonna be a really, really good night and I'm excited to see what these places hold. I think we're gonna have something great in store for us tonight. From people that you guys know, Paranormal Nightmare has said that the Civil War house is the most haunted house. So I'm really eager for us to go there tonight together and try to see if we can communicate with any of those spirits that live there. Yeah, you never know what's gonna happen. We were just over there getting shots of the house and it is freaky. It is. <laughs> so uh, when the sun goes down and it's dark here at Billy Creek Village, things are gonna get a little bit scary here. A little spooky. Are you guys ready to get into this investigation? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready if you guys are ready. 
I'm not, but we can start. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into this and let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. Paranormal Encounters, Billy Creek Village. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not exactly what happened. Originally, I had set out to do another collaboration with Paranormal Quest here at Billy Creek Village because the night before we had just filmed one at the Indiana State Sanatorium and it became one of my scariest nights I've ever had while filming for this show. Throughout the night, we went and explored some of the most haunted locations. This included the Civil War house where we were told that somebody from the 90s had hired some paranormal investigators to do a paranormal investigation to prove that what they were experiencing inside this place was indeed something paranormal. I shot my first segment there for Paranormal Encounters and I felt like I captured very little to no paranormal activity. We explored more locations where I didn't really capture anything paranormal. So I decided initially that I was just gonna scrap the episode and just film for Paranormal Quest. And we decided to all split up and go to the three most haunted locations where people have had the most paranormal activity. This included the governor's mansion, which is where Dave was going, the doctor's office where Ryan was going, and ever since I stepped foot on Billy Creek Village, I had this urge to check out and want to spend time alone inside the schoolhouse, the Huxford schoolhouse. I was told off camera by the interviewee, people have heard children laughing inside this schoolhouse, even well before it became what it is today at Billy's Creek Village. Now, what I'm about to show you, I have to admit, is a little embarrassing, but I felt like I needed to show you what happened while I was setting up the cameras, because a lot of times things do happen while you're setting up equipment, and that's just how the paranormal works. It's unpredictable. As I was getting ready to get the tripod ready to record the entire schoolhouse room, I had this happen. Now, I don't know if this was an animal or if this was something really paranormal. It's important to show you guys what happens even while you're setting up equipment. So if you're ready, grab a blanket, turn the lights off, and get ready as I take you inside the Huxford schoolhouse. These are my paranormal encounters. Okay, Connor Sink and Audio, this is me in my solo session for Paranormal Quest in the schoolhouse. Cause I'm going back to school, back to school, back to school, I'm going back to school. I gotta set up my stuff. I swear to God, if that damn Lucifer cat comes in here, I'm probably gonna cry because she came in here earlier when I was in here filming some B-roll. She's a diamond cat. She's the only black-eyed demon in this place. That may be black-eyed children, I don't know. But I don't want to, I don't, I'd rather see the cat than the black-eyed children. What the f Hello? What the f was that? Hello? I have no idea what the f I just heard, but that was a f***ing like screech. I'm gonna shut this school door. I don't know if this was even Ryan or David. Probably wasn't, because David is too far away from me. Ryan is right, basically right next to our camp and a doctor's office. But as I was getting ready to, you know, set up the cameras, I hear a screech. She's the only black eyed demon in this place. That may be black eyed children, I don't know. But I don't, I don't really see the cat that's black eyed children. What the f? Hello? Okay. We got the uh, music box right now. So we got the. The PMB Polter Tune. It's this music box. We were using this in the um, church and we had some uh, interaction with it. It was pretty interesting. So I'm gonna set it down right here. There we go. Walk in front of it. There we go. Got some cat balls right here, because what child doesn't like to play with toys? 
set up one cat ball. Guess right here. Set up another one over here at this desk, right here. I also brought with me the uh, Epoch box, which if you're not familiar with it, it basically has a green light and a red light. Green for yes, red for no. You can ask spirits yes or no questions. So hopefully I can ask some questions to the children here and get to know them, see what kind of stuff they liked. What was our favorite subject in school? So right now I am inside the schoolhouse and where I am sitting at, I am sitting in one of the seats and it is believed that they can hear children laughing even long before this place has really, really became Billy's Creek and, and what it is here today. We've got a music box right here on the ground. Anybody that's stepping from back there come this way, I should hear the music box go off. We have the yes or no device for the Leapock right here. We've got a cat ball right there behind me, at the desk where a teacher would be at, and one right next to me as well, too, on the floor. So we're gonna turn around, go ahead and ask some questions here. Hey everybody, any kids in here? Teachers, if you're attached to this location, this building, my name is Connor. I'm here tonight just to get to know you and talk to you, maybe talk about what your favorite thing to learn here in school was. I have a device right here in front of me. It will not hurt you, it just lights yes or no, answers questions. It's got a green light, yes, green for yes, red for no. Let's play a game. If you can light up the green light for a yes and red for no, that would mean a lot to me. Is there anybody here? If you are here, you can go ahead and light up that green light for me, please. I also got a cool little device over here that makes music. If you walk in front of that, a green little little container right there. None of these devices will hurt anybody in this room. It's simply just so that I can know that you're here with me. People said that they hear laughter from little children in here. Is that true? Green for yes, red for no. Oh, wow, thank you. Can you see me right now? Also, thank you for using that. Do you like to play games? What was that? That was walking. Somebody in here with me? I literally just heard something over here move. I think it's outside this door. Do you like to play games? What was that? That was walking. Somebody in here with me? Is that you I just heard? Can you use this device and answer that question for me? Did I just hear you? Do you like talking to people that come in here to want to ask you questions?
What was that? Is there somebody here? I heard walking. There's footsteps back there behind me somewhere. Is that you? Do you like it what they did here with Billy's Creek? Do you like what they've done with the school? Were they allowing visitors? Is there anybody still here with me? Somebody light, lit that up green a few moments ago though. I don't feel like you're here now. Do you want me to leave? No? Okay, I'm not gonna leave. Thank you for lighting that up. Are you a little boy? There are literally footsteps, like little footsteps. What the f was that? Are you a little boy? There are literally footsteps, like little footsteps. What the f was that? I'm, I literally heard something in here. So, somebody in this room with me? I like, don't want to look around behind me. <laughs> I can hear stuff. Hello? Somebody here? Feel like you're being very cautious, I think, to come out and talk. Is that right? Yes. Well, you don't have to be too cautious. I'm I'm a friendly person. I'm just here to talk with you and get to know you. That's all. Nothing I've brought is gonna hurt you or cause any kind of harm. I'm sure you already know that. If you don't know, like I mentioned earlier, my name is Connor. Are you a little kid? No? Okay. Um, are you attached? to this schoolhouse? Are you attached to one of the buildings here at Billy Creek? Are you attached to me? Okay, 
What about this? Are you attached to the land? Should I take out another piece of equipment where I can hear your voice? Should I do that? Yes? Wow, that is a very long yes. That is something that's definitely probably being used by something paranormal. Okay, I'm going to bring out a device that we call Ghost Tube, okay? You might have already heard of this device before, but you can ask me questions and we can talk. I brought out a new piece of equipment like you asked. Move this device a little bit so this camera can see this. Yep, okay, cool. My name is Connor. Can you tell me what your name is, please? Some old knees cracking. Did you like your teacher here? I'm not sure if you're still here with me. I know you said you were being very cautious to talk to me, and that's okay. It's like with anybody when they're a stranger. Like I said, I'm just friendly, and I'm just here to talk, and hopefully get to know some more about you. I've heard that people hear little kids laughing in here. School must have been really fun. I liked being in school when I was young. Can you tell me maybe your favorite subject to learn in school? Remember, I also have this music box device right here. If you walk in front of it, it will chime and make a song. You should play some music for me. That'd be kind of cool. Cannot see where anything's at in here. Okay, there we go. Do you like talking to people that come in here and want to visit with you? Are you still here? Yes. Thank you for lighting that up. I see you're still here. I'm just making sure. This is really cool right now, getting these responses. It is something that I think that is very cautious. Is someone very cautious right now? And it is staying consistent when I try to ask questions, like as if I'm leaning towards me leaving or something. It is very adamant that it's making sure that I know that they're still here. Do you like talking to me? So why you don't want me to leave? You asked me to bring out another piece of device, and I still haven't heard it go off yet. 
You haven't said anything through it yet. Remember, you can, you can tell me things or you can even ask me questions. You can kind of be friends. I'm not trying to go too far in here because I cannot see where I'm walking. I don't want to trip on something. Is that you behind me? That was footsteps. Hello? Oh my God. Hello? Oh my God. Somebody back there? There's literally something in the back of this schoolhouse right now. Is that you I'm hearing right now? Thirty-four minutes into this, there's already something weird going on back there. Somebody back there? There's walking right back that way. Somebody back there? I'm literally hearing footsteps behind this door. It's locked. I can't get in that door. But there are literally boot, boots do, 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 on the wooden floor back there. Hello? What the hell just happened with Ghost Tube? Oh my God, Ghost Tube just said a full sentence. What did you, what did you just say? It's what? Organ. Organ? What, I don't know what all of us said. I, I missed all of this. You said, what did you say? Organ. I have no idea what Ghost Tube just went on. I know I heard the word elderly. I have no, no idea what else was said. It won't let me check it unless we stop recording and goes to, which I don't want to do right this second. Was that you that I just heard a minute ago? All those footsteps? No? Is that somebody else? This is amazing. Direct Direct communication. When I ask questions like this, I'm always getting direct responses. 
I really appreciate you doing this, by the way. Thank you so much. I'm confused. You're confused? Who is she? Who, I don't know who, you, who are you talking about? What do you mean by who is she? Are you talking to, to somebody else, a different spirit? What, what's the name of the person you're talking about? crazy is I'm not hearing the footsteps anymore. It was straight up like boots on wooden floor back there going do, 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 do or something back there and that door's locked. I have no idea where the hell that goes, but I know that this building is by itself. So that door goes to somewhere inside this building back there locked, like maybe a closet room or something. The ghost who went freaked out when I stopped hearing all the noises and went on a full on rant. You just told me that wasn't you a second ago, so I'm trying to figure out who that is. If you're referring to a woman back there, I'm trying to figure out if you know her name. Is there anything else you can tell me through Ghost Tube? That could have been me, the cap is going off right now. I'm gonna step, no. Nope, it's not me. That cat ball, that is right, that is actually, no. Thank you for doing that and letting me know that I wasn't the one setting off the cat ball. Do you like the cat ball? Is that a good way to communicate with you? Yes? Okay. You can use that again if you'd like to. Thank you for answering that question. This is absolutely amazing. This looks probably really weird that I'm talking to a light. This is really... I'm weak. I'm weak? Well, I know I'm sure this takes a lot of energy for what you're doing right now to communicate with me, and I want to let you know I really, really appreciate this. It probably takes a lot of energy. You're more than welcome to take the energy from any of these devices if you want to communicate with me. You probably don't get a lot of visitors in here that communicate with you, and if you do, I'm sure some of them are probably maybe disrespectful to you. I just want to let you know that this means a lot that you're communicating with me and answering questions, so thank you. No? You don't get a lot of disrespectful visitors? That's good then. I just want to make sure that you are getting respectful visitors though. Do you like, you like me? Am I being respectful to you? Because if I'm not, I want you to tell me so I can figure out how to be more respectful for you. But that's why I'm trying to say thank you for the communication. I want you to know that I appreciate that. There's that noise back there again. That's somebody back there, hello?
cat ball's going off. It's unknown. Oh my God. The cat ball's going off. I just heard, I'm here walking back there right now. Thank you for doing that. I can hear you. Oh my God. Halt, stop. Do you want me to stop this session with you? Oh, the cat ball's going off again. I'm standing absolutely still. Thank you for doing that. Do you want me to stop communicating with you? What the f was that? Okay, so this school is extremely active. It is absolutely haunted for sure. There's definitely something in the schoolhouse. I thought the cat ball was me making it go off, stood absolutely still, went off twice, intelligent responses on Epoch, got stuff on ghost tube, hearing walking. I don't know what this this is this is this is crazy. Do you, do you want me to stop communicating with you? Cat ball's going off again. Absolutely standing still. Thank you for doing that. I know you mentioned that that is the best way to communicate with you, and it really looks like it is. I'm still here and walking. And it's going off again. Thank you. You really do like that cat ball. Are you able to roll that? Can you move that cat ball? You can roll it towards me if you like. Here it goes again. I'm literally here and walking again in the corner. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for lighting up the cat ball. My heart is pounding so fast right now. There it goes again. There's the cat ball. Thank you. Are you standing in front of me right now? Can you, can you tell me on that device? Is that why the cat ball's going off? Are you near me? Oh my God, that is, I'm getting freaked out right now. I don't know what is back there. Can you tell me on this device, yes for green, red for no, if that's you making the cat ball go off? Greatly appreciate that if you could do that for me, please. I'm just excited because I'm communicating with someone. Mm -hmm. 
What is that? I'm still hearing walking back there. That door is locked. Oh my God. Hello? Who's back there? Well, I am going to go sit down because this is kind of crazy. <sighs> sit down, I still don't make that cab. I'll go off. All that loud thudding I'm doing, and the cap all still doesn't go off. Okay, so I spent an hour in the schoolhouse right now, and the cat ball's going off again right next to me. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. I've spent an hour in the schoolhouse alone, and so far at Billy Creek, Billy's Creek Village. This is the most active building that I've been into. There's about 38 buildings. I haven't been able to get into all of them, but the ones I did go into tonight, which is majority of them, I wouldn't say. And this is the one where I've had the most activity and the cat ball's going off again. Look at that. Thank you for making that cat ball go off. You really do like that device. It's crazy. I'm hearing the footsteps, the epoch, the cat ball going off, the ghost tube responses. I'm not hearing the walking anymore. It would have been even crazier if I could have got that music box down there to go off too. Guys, I, I'm going to conclude my night here because I think we're about wrapping things up here at Billy's Creek Village. And even though I wasn't able to make a full episode of Paranormal Encounters here, I was able to spend a solo session here in this schoolhouse. And I do want to say that I thank you so much for watching. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. My goal for 2024 is to hit 100,000 subscribers. If you haven't already, also hit that like button. The like buttons, the comments, the sharing the video, cat ball going off helps out this channel so much. And I wanna to go to so many more places, solo, alone. It's gonna get even scarier thinking about some of the places I'm gonna to go to and take you guys along with me. So if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a comment, please. Let me know what you think about the schoolhouse. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Paranormal Encounters. See you soon.